So the booster course pass kind of doubled the amount of tracks in the game. So doing a top 10 is going to be a lot harder than it used to be, but I have nothing better to do. So yeah, let's, let's just do it. Well, we're starting the list off with possibly a hot take, but I'm putting Dolphin Shoals at number 10. I know like most people don't like this course as much as me, but I also really have to part with like the pipes and stuff and the eel, like everyone does. Even though I don't think the tricking system's the best in this game, I still really enjoy that part. And oh my god, who can forget the ending? Most people remember it for the saxophone solo, which I also really like, but I can also remember it for that nice gorgeous scenery. The beautiful blue waters ahead of you, oh my gosh. This gives off summer vibes and summer's my favorite season, so am I biased for that? Probably. but. It's just such a beautiful course. How could you not love it? The city courses. You either love them or hate them. I'm somewhere in the middle. There's courses like New York Minute that I don't really like that much, but there's courses like this and one more city course on this top 10 that I really enjoy. I really like the museum and football stadium. I like the center with Wiggler sleeping on the first lap, but he's awake on the second lap. That mall that you enter through reminds me of Coconut Mall. I also really like that gliding section, and there's actually a secret area with coins in that gliding section. I even really like that marketplace with the flops for some reason. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of charm was given to this track, and it just makes it so much fun, and definitely one of the better city tracks. Okay, now, DK Summit is just alright. You know, it would be a more better, but um, it's not because um, DK does not got that gear. I was originally going to put Grumble Volcano in this spot, but I decided to replace it with DK Summit because these half pipes are just way too majestic. Look at that. I also think this is one of the few levels where the tricking system actually suits the level very well. DK Summit's layout is perfect for the tricks, as well as the half pipes, as well as the double shortcut. Overall, this track just has too many opportunities, so I mean, how could I not put it in the top 10? Toad's Turnpike is the best map ever. In Mount Wario, they nerfed Wario so hard in that one. So, it's just a solid B minus plus plus. Okay, but seriously, Mount Wario is next up, and honestly, this course is really good. I really like that waterfall section, even though the glider is pretty useless because the river is much faster, but it's still pretty fun. But the best part by far is the beginning of the third section all the way to the end. Oh my gosh, it just feels like such an adventure, starting with all the twisty turns and ending with all the speed boosts and that awesome glide ramp through like those rings. Oh my gosh, it just feels like I'm on such an adventure. And honestly, just it, that just makes it into the top 10 automatically. I feel like not too many people would argue with me for putting it in the top 10. Big Blue, I have to say it's one of my favorite tracks and I've been loving it for like four years now. And like everything about it is just super, super amazing. And like especially the start where you start at like some space thing and there's like speed boosts like that take you down, that like take you like faster and then like there's conveyors i mean some push you forward and some push you back but those can be easily avoided by like a mushroom or something and then lap two is just like these waterfalls that like take you down and there's like a shortcut that i can only do in 3cc and that's like a really great shortcut if you ask me and it like gives you like a big gap and then like what's crazy about lap two is that like at the end there's like a glider portion has like these rings and like that's just surprising because like that just makes the track even better and lap three that's probably the best one because like there's a lot of speed boosts and conveyors there's like so much going on but, like i can't even explain what's going on and then there's two paths that you go on it doesn't really matter which one but like i always take the purple one i think and i feel like that's the faster one and then like it ends off in a really cool space ship thingy and then like when you finish you're like welcome to like a big room full of toads that's just, that's just a great way to finish off a great track that I've been loving for almost a long time. Next is Maple Treeway. Maple Treeway is just a good map. The music is good, the vibes are good, the, the actual track itself is repetitive, but also very good. 
I like the area with the giant wiggler on top of the leaves. And there's lots of mushrooms placed all over the place. I really enjoy the music. And, however, there is one specific turn on that map that absolutely destroys me every single time. So that's not very fun. But other than that, it's a very solid map and very fun to play on. And all I'm saying is that I kind of cook on that map when I'm playing as Shy Guy. We Rainbow Road is the last track of the DLC, and to be honest, it's like very, very incredible. Cause like, it was back in the Mario Kart Wii, and like I used to play this all the time. And now seeing it get added to Mario Kart Deluxe, I am at a loss of words. Cause like all the other Rainbow Roads and Mario Kart Deluxe, they're pretty good, but this one just takes the cake. It just takes it to another level, and like, wow, the detail in this. And like, they just made it like 10 times better. Oh, that Wii version was really good. And like, like the Switch version, in my opinion, they just did it like a lot better. I'll never forget this track, cause like, it's really great and it should be remembered. When I first played Mushroom Gorge in Mario Kart 7, I fell in love with it. But when it came to Mario Kart 8, I didn't think it was possible, but I fell in love with it even more. There's so much more new paths now when you're bouncing on the mushrooms, and they bought the beginning shortcut back, as well as the glorious gap jump. Pulling off that gap jump is so satisfying. Just because of that alone, it is worth putting it in the top three, along with it already being an amazing track. I personally enjoy Sydney Sprint because, um, why the hell not? I like Sydney, and I dislike sprinting, but um, it's a good track, the music is good, and also crazy Australian man breaks into home at 2am, shaves cat, and leaves without stealing anything. The map is also very well laid out, and it doesn't, it's not that repetitive because it's a city track, so yeah, that's Sydney Sprint. The fact that Nintendo can make one of the most boring experiences going to an airport fun is just amazing you get to go into a freaking plane in this track like name another course where you go through a plane I'll, I'll wait yeah yeah exactly i also really like the part where you go into that little strip of like ground or conveyor belt or metal i don't know what it is but i like going on that in the sky because you get to see the nice tropical islands and obviously n64 Kipachuga beach I also like the glide down with the plane. I just like the noise. Combined with the tropical settlement, the overall vibe, the Piantas and Nokis in the background, which are just awesome, by the way, and the fact that they made driving through an airport fun and all the other Easter eggs in this course, like the track names, just like, the, like you know, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know how it says, like, the flights with, instead of the tracks? Yeah, anyway, with all those, like, Easter eggs in this track, this is my favorite track in the game. Just kidding, number one is actually Toad's Turnpike. I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and now I finally did, so that's pretty awesome. I also really want to thank my friends who decided to help me during this video, and one of them actually has a YouTube channel called Cherry VR, so uh, you should subscribe to them. And yeah, just thank you guys again. Thanks to all my friends who helped me out. And yeah, see ya.